Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are at Lake Redman and I have a special guest, my sister Julia. So today we're fishing for some bluegills and we're actually doing a small little catch and cook today. We, um, over there we have some on the stringer, but yeah, I just got back um, from get, taking my sister's fish off, but she's right here, I'm over here, and we're casting up this really shallow area where a lot of bluegills are probably spawning. So we just cast up in here with small worm on the hook, and uh, it's doing it's doing well. We already got two keepers in the bag, and we got here not too long ago, so that's pretty awesome. All right, guys, casting out, new bait on. Um, I wanted to say my sister's actually a pretty good fisherman. Um, I mean, fisherwoman. Sorry, my bad. Uh, she caught a nice bass when we first got here um, on worms, which is like, crazy. It blew my mind because, like, I've only fished here a handful of times, like Lake Redmen. And well, yeah, so I'm really glad that my sister got that um, nice fish. But yep. Got one. Guys, got one. He's running. Ooh. Yeah, Julia. Alright, guys. <laughs> you need a worm on the hook? Alright, guys. Nice fish. Julia! What do we think? Is that is that a keeper size? I think so. You think so? Yeah. I, I think we can catch a little bit bigger. I, I can, but I think we can catch a bigger. Oh! You okay? Alright. Guys, oh! He's off. Daddy, where's the oh, it's that way. Alright, guys, I'll catch you guys with the next fish. I just wanted to fish a little more with uh, my bait, which is, I forgot to show, small little worm on a small hook which is perfect for these bluegills because they don't really like anything much bigger than a small worm, small hook. It's good to have a small presentation like that. Oh, got one. That one's a little small. He, wow. he hit that. I'm eating an ant, I think. <laughs> Your worm's eating an ant? That's weird. Uh. All right, well. Got one. Yeah. I knew there'd be a few over there. Nice. Small one, definitely not a keeper, but I guess I'll take it. My sister went over to another spot over there. Um, try her luck over there. Small blue go. There he goes. I'm gonna recast. I saw tons, tons and tons of blue gill over there. So just cast over there. Oh, one's hitting it. Ah, oh, missed him. It's hard to tell when the bobber's like far away um, because you don't know, like, you can't, I can't really sight fish. Like, I saw commotion over there, but I can't really sight fish those fish. So, yeah. Ah, all right. Was it a big one? Do you think it was a keeper? Huh. Good job, Julia. Ah, missed another fish. Darn it. Yeah, the only problem with bluegill I find when we're um, trying to find big ones, their mouths are really, really, really small. So you got to have either a really small hook or a really sharp hook that's big. And you got to be able to set the hook. Like, because if you don't know when that fish actually has a hook in its mouth, it's very hard to get them. Joel, you got one? Oh, yeah, it's really tiny. <laughs> Oh, Julie, that's a green sunfish. Oh, I can't have baby blue. Here, I'll take, I'll take it off of you. Here, hold my rod. Okay. All right, my sister caught this small little green sunfish. Definitely, oh. <laughs> Definitely not the target species, but he got away. <laughs> he went back on his own. Uh, fist bump, Julia. Uh, oh. 
<laughs> Good job. All right, let's cast that again. So guys, I've been noticing that, uh, like, my, I'm actually really happy my sister got that one because it's gotten a little bit slow since our last, like, big fish. But yeah. Um, a little hat. Got one, nice. <laughs> I reeled him in quick. <laughs> All that, oh guys, I got a little unexpected catch. I was fishing over over here and I got a small little bass. Wasn't filming though, which is kind of sad, but it's fine. Look at that. Beautiful little largemouth bass on worms. Let him go. See you, buddy. That was kind of cool surprise. Well, me and my sister are going to keep fishing. Hopefully get a full stringer. See you guys there. All right, guys, I know this is a short fishing session, uh, but uh, it was, this is a mainly a catch and cook. This is the bluegill catch and cook me and my sister have been waiting for. And I'm going to show you what we got down here. Uh, we, we, in the end, we ended up getting four keeper bluegills, as you can see right there. And so we're almost done fishing. And when we get back to the house, we're going to do a little cleaning. And, Julie, tell them what we're going to do with the bluegills. Okay, so we are going to first scale them, because we want to eat the skin. We really like the skin. And then we're going to cut off the head and a bunch of other stuff. I don't know all of it. Um, yeah. Yeah, so we got it down. We're going to clean them, make a yummy uh, dinner, and then we'll do a taste test and eat them. Um, Julia, last time we did this, which was my second fishing video, she loved it. So we wanted to do it again for her, and yeah. So, Julia, did you have... First fishing video, second video. Yeah. So, yeah. Are you having fun today? Yes. It's hot out. It There's is hot a out. a thunderstorm coming. Yeah, there is a thunderstorm. We're probably going to have to go in, um, pretty soon, but yeah. It's been a very successful day of bluegill fishing. My sister actually caught the biggest one of the day. She caught a really big bluegill right out there at the point, so that's great. But yeah, I'll see you guys back at the house. All right, guys. So, um... We got the bluegill here, back at the house, clipped up to the board, and we already scaled this first part, um, so what we're going to do, what we're going to do is just flip that over, and so how we scale it, uh, we use, use a spoon or anything like that, and um, you, the scales are on an angle, so you just want to get all the scales off like that, and it's helpful have, to have a board like this because it can um, just hold the bluegill or any other fish that you want to scale and hold them tight so um, you can just have a good grip. And spoon, uh, spoon is great for this, but you can use, you can really use a hunting knife or anything like that to get the scales, so that's what you, we use. All right guys, we'll see you in the kitchen. Hey guys, so um, I'm out my deck and the bluegills are here, but my sister's gonna give you guys the first demonstration on our batter which is just salt, flour, some and pepper. And we'll put them on this plate and then we'll cook them over there on the grill. So we scaled them already, um, so we will eat the skin. Yeah, so, so, just wanna so what my sister's doing, you a nice little base on each you side. You get them all coated on the outside. Pack and the then you open flour. Up it up mm -hmm. and you sprinkle some down there. And I'm gonna shake it up side. And, you and then you it wanna and shake it off, this. get all the extra stuff off, yep. shake it. Nice. Mm -hmm. You want them covered each side, mm -hmm. and then shake off the excess and then put them on that. There you go. Nice. There's the first That's one. a batter bluegill. Now, Julie, will you please hold the camera? Yes. It's gonna be a little messy, but it's okay. So uh, let's come over here. And so Julie did a great job. Uh, she basically said exactly what we're gonna do. So you're gonna have a nice base on each side, flour and salt, pack it inside of there. And you want them just absolutely covered. You want this fish absolutely covered in that stuff, because um, when we put them on hot oil, um, it's just, it's gonna well, it's first of all gonna help with the flavor, and second of all, um, crunchy skin is just delicious. Me and my sister like eating the skin of the bluegills, because in um, our opinion, it's like one of the more tasty parts of the fish. So after that, just shake off the excess flour, because that'll pop up in the hot oil. Shake it off, and then put that bluegill on the plate. All right, guys. All right, guys, the oil is um, it's heated, so um, we're gonna start the two-minute timer real quick. My dad did, and never mind. There's no two-minute timer. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> so <laughs> we'll see it on the video anyway. Yeah. So we're just gonna put the bluegill in the pan. 
We're gonna do my sister's, then mine. Boom. How about that side's you, and then the other side will be mine. Yeah. So that's yours, right? Yes. No, no, those are yours. I mean, Wait, they are? Yeah, these are okay. mine. Okay. <laughs> I'm just getting confused. So they're getting a nice uh, little uh, crispy on them when they're going in. And so mine are back there, and this is Matthew's. My brother's going to set a timer real quick, and uh, yeah. Okay. Alright guys, we have like a minute and 30 seconds until they're done. They are looking really, really good. Nice crispy skin. I'm so excited to eat these guys. Um, last time me and my sister tried bluegill, they were good, weren't they? Yeah. yeah. So what do you think? We only caught three last time. Yeah, we got four this time, but uh, what did the skin taste like last time? It was so delicious and crispy. And we, I remember my brother came in and he, and he ate the tail because Tails great. Well, we heard the tail was good, and then I yeah. tried it, but yeah. And um, also, lemon, I mean, no, no, not lemon, sorry. Lime. Lime sauce. Uh, like just Lime flavored fish sauce goes well with it, but we didn't have that last time, so we we're just going to use lime again. Yeah, we have just lime slices yeah. roll. But it's still really good. Mm hmm So, Julie, can you check up in the timer inside real quick? Yep. All right. Well, guys, these bluegill are um, almost done, so yeah, I'll see you guys. At the kitchen. Hey guys, the bluegill is right here. We got it. And we got e uh, one chopsticks each, and we got a fork. And a lime. Yeah, and a lime, and we're going to cut it up. We're going to try these. They look so good, but they're hot because we just took them off the pan. Enjoy, Julia. Thank you. And we got these just in case we need them. Just in case, you know. So, uh, so yep. The lime juice. Do limes have seeds? Uh, I think. I'm Maybe. just gonna drizzle some of the lime oh. sauce. Lime all over me. I'm just gonna drizzle the lime like all over the. Oh, I just gonna no. I'm just gonna squirt. Oh, it's sour. I don't care though. Right. Lime's delicious. Oh, there's some thunder. It's yeah. okay. It's gonna thunderstorm soon probably. Actually, I think it might have missed us because uh, yeah. we heard it a so. lot of the day when we came home, but it never. Hit Julie, us. you ready to try it? Oh yes, I just. Uh, where's all the meat? Oh, you do need the chopstick, at least I do, because I don't want to touch the hot skin. Uh, I'm going to take all the um, the pin bones out. And the then... pin? Oh, can you help me get them out? Yeah. No, you got it good. So you just want to take all the meat off the ribcage right there. Mm. And then oh, there's... is that the ribcage? Oh, yeah, no, because there's tons of meat off the ribs. Oh, got him. Part of it. Oh, that's a spiky ribcage. <laughs> all right. Okay. I got Fresh. some meat out of it. I'm actually going to drill some lemon on it. Lemon? All right, Lime. Guys. Lime. Okay. I keep saying lemon. All right, okay. guys. Fresh bluegill. Oh, it's hot. <laughs> I'm trying. Fresh, fresh bluegill. Oh, I got a perfect piece right here. I'm going to put some lime in it. Mm. It's good. Oh, my God. That is so good. Mm. That is so good. Mm. Oh, my gosh. I can't some bones, but... Yeah, that's tasty. A that's bones. good fish. That's great fish. Um, <laughs> hey guys, comment down below. If comments are enabled, actually, because comments aren't always enabled in my videos, so comment down below. Um, uh, like, what's your favorite fish to eat? Cause me and my sister personally, we love bluegills. And yeah, this is our second time having them, I think. Yeah, yeah cause we no, no third, cause remember at Shenandoah Valley we had them. Oh yeah. So just a nice little piece of meat. Mm. Mm. It's crunchy. Mm -hmm. The meat's really soft. That's what mm. I like about the bluegills. It's so good, but <laughs> there's like a pile of bones on them. It's basically like eating crab, like you just fins and skins. Um, just yeah, I must say you can eat the skin with this, so. Like soft, uh, soft. Crab. I'm gonna eat my skin soft last. Soft crabs. I'm picking out the meat. And I'm eating um, my skin with it. <laughs> I'll probably eat my skin last because I'm gonna pick the it's meat. It's nice and. So oh. <gasps> Should I eat the tail right away? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just, yeah, I'm just eating good. all this meat. There's tons of meat off the ribs. Like, look at that. You just pull it up. So much meat. Oh, cartilage. Cartilage. That's good. Yep. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to chop off that. And cut my chopstick. 
a nice skin piece with some meat. I don't eat the tail. Mm. Oh, that tail. The tail's crunchy? That tail is great. It's like fried bacon. Mm. I have nowhere to wet my hands, so I didn't bring a napkin out here. Mm. Oh mm. my gosh, it's like crunchy, salty goodness. Look how so good. Like, if, really you, if you get a nice piece of the fish that's just plain meat, oh. it's, <laughs> it's really good. It's connected with this. It is definitely one of my favorites. All right, guys, we'll see you when we're finishing up the eat-in. All right. All right, guys, well, we're just finishing up this bluegill. It is destroyed. Yeah, we picked through it. It was so good, though. Mm. Uh, I, I love fresh bluegill. We destroyed bluegill. our limes, too. Yeah, we ate the we, we ate the limes. Julie, you were eating the limes. I was like, ow, ow. Yeah, so. <laughs> I let my dad and my brother try, too, and they gave it a thumbs up. So, bluegill is just an overall really tasty fish. Oh, and, and it's great with lime. <laughs> hey, Julie, high five. Fist bump, okay, fine, fist bump, fist bump. <laughs> no, whatever. All right, well, Julia. Bye. Uh, I might come back in other videos. Maybe in other videos. So, yeah. Remember to hit that subscribe button, notifications bell, and smash that thumbs up button. Julia, say bye. Bye. See you guys in the next video.